Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today I have a table full of beers that my brother Rico has brought down to me. He is staying, he come down to stay with me this weekend so we could finally meet each other and, and check out some local stuff here. And uh, this is what the this is what my brother brought me this time. And not only, before we get into the beers, not only has he brought me this massive massive selection of beers he brought me some glassware and he brought me not just a couple glasses and these are all from different breweries and stuff he brought me a table full and you probably can't see them all guys i had so much stuff i couldn't get it all on the table but he brought me all this different glassware unbelievable unfreaking believable what a guy what a friend what a pal what a brother so, not only a ton of glassware, but this is what he, he brought this time. So, let's get into it. It's probably going to be a fairly long video, uh, but we're going to go through. Uh, he sent me, to, or sent me, he brought me two of the uh, Captain Lawrence Palette Shifter. And uh, it's a 9% Imperial IPA with 90 IBUs and bottled on 11-21-16. The next one here is Two Roads. Expressway cold brew coffee stout, uh, sold in six packs. He says bottled on 12 1 6.5 percent cold brewed coffee oatmeal stout. And he brought me another uh, Evil Twins Michigan Maple Jesus. And guys, I've already reviewed this one, so I'm probably not going to re review this. I uh, just did it not too long ago. But he brought me another one to enjoy at a later date 12 percent imperial stout aged in maple, maple syrup bourbon barrels and from Jackie O's this is their dark apparition uh, it is a ten and a half percent Russian Imperial Stout and these guys at Jackie O's make some awesome beers and here he's brought me a couple of hoof hearted I've been seeing people uh, drink these and, and review them on the internet and, and they are basically juice bombs and uh, I haven't been able to try them until now. The first one here is uh, their Hoof Hearted Did We Just Become Friends. And uh, says here, uh, canned on 12, 29, 16, 8% double IPA, 70 IBUs. Breweries out of Marengo, Ohio. Very nice label on the can. Uh, everybody's going to look at that and say, oh, yes. And next one from Hoof Hearted, this is a Roller blabe and this is a uh, eight percent double ipa 103 ibus bodaciously dry hop with mosaic Simcoe, and galaxy hops it says and the next one here is the oscar blues 1050 guys i've reviewed this and as a matter of fact i just did the barrel age version uh i'll look back we may re-review this because it's probably been a couple years since i did the original version of this and he brought me another barrel age version so, uh, and we just did this one, guys, so I'm not going to review it anytime soon. Uh, uh, I'm going to probably stuff this one in the closet and may review it down the road after it's got a year or two or three, maybe even five on it. Uh, not seen this version. I can get this here, but I cannot get this version. And he also brought me a, uh, a Goose Island uh, uh, Bourbon, Bar Bourbon County brand stout. This is a 2016 version. And everybody knows that they make some pretty tasty beers. They had an infection problem, but they put out letters and told everybody they'd refund their money. And uh, they stood up and uh, honored all that. So uh, hopefully they got that infection problem corrected. And this one will be tasty. And the next one here, this is the Terrapin Muhu Chiato. And it is a wax bottle. Uh not had this particular version i've had the muhu but not this one uh, eight and a half percent chocolate espresso milk stout and with what it's saying there it may have a little bit of spiciness to it i don't know if they did uh, peppers or whatever but we'll investigate that a little further when we review the beer and from ballast point this is their mocha marlin and uh they do a silly code uh, 16264 on the bottom of it, so I would say that's the 264th day of 2016. 
6% um, porter with coffee and chocolate added. And the next one here, this is Omnipo Omnipolo Samos Samonia. Uh, actually doesn't have a date on it. Uh, he says he thinks it was released in 2015 or 2016. 13% Imperial Stout brewed with coffee, vanilla, cocoa, nibs, and cinnamon. Uh, Brewery is out of Stockholm, Sweden, and it's brewed at Crazy Mountain Brewing out of Colorado. And he's brought me a Trappist. This is a 2016 version of the Trappist Westerlettering 12, a 10.2% quadruple uh, that he traded for. And uh, they give this a 12, uh, three year shop life on this big beer. And uh, he says it was bottled on June the 2nd of 2016. So, uh, awesome beer. It's very hard to get your hands on this beer unless you live over there where the monks are, are brewing this. So, and the next one, this is uh, the old Rasputin uh, barrel aged version. This is the one with the cork in the cage on it. And guys, I think I reviewed this one last year. I'm not, I can't remember when it was. Somebody sent it to me. Uh, this is the 2016 edition. Uh, he says 19th edition and the 18th come out in 2015 so he's assuming that it is the uh, uh, 2016 since it's a 19th edition and 11.2 percent Russian Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels uh, you know it's got to be tasty yes sir and this is the uh, collaboration Boulevard uh, number six uh, says here it's a uh, a blend barrel aged beer uh, bottled on 921 16 and best by 921 18. Uh, 12 and a half percent American strong ale with 22 IBUs. And it was a collaboration between Boulevard and Firestone Walker. So, uh, got a lot of stuff in, in this one uh, barrel quad uh, and imperial style with chart tart cherries so and, and they mixed it with firestones uh, velvet merkin and sticky monkey so a lot of blending to go into this great big bottle of cork and caged on here and uh, both of those breweries do awesome stuff and the next one here this is a collaboration between Westbrook and Evil Twin this is their Imperial Biscotti uh, cake break so it's a Mexican cake and the Imperial Biscotti break I'd say mixed together um, ten and a half percent Imperial style with coffee cinnamon almonds cocoa nibs vanilla and habanero peppers the next one here is clown shoes hammer of the beast uh, Imperial stout and barley wine aged in rum barrels 11.75 percent ABV and from Graham Sumi Inc. This is a 13.5% uh, uh, Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels with vanilla and bottled on November of 2016 uh, according to the label. And from Brooklyn, this is their Black Ops. And guys, I think I might have done this a year or two or three ago. I can't remember. The label looks very familiar. And I think I did pick up one of these uh, Black Ops bottles at one time. But we'll look and see. Uh, and probably re-review this since this is the 2016 edition. Uh, it is 11.5% Imperial Stout, aged in six months in bourbon barrels, bottle flat, then re-fermented with champagne yeast. So hopefully we won't have a gusher here once they re-fermented -ferm this. Uh, the next one here is the, uh, the breweries. This is their brewery mash. And... Uh, Got vanilla, uh, bottled on July 13th of 2016. It is a 13.3% body wine aged in bourbon barrels with vanilla added. And next here is the Firestone Walker Parabola. And guys, I have done this. I kept this in the fridge for a while, and then uh, I don't remember what year it was. And then now he has brought me the 2016 version of this. That's an Imperial Stout. 13.1% uh, ABV, 79 IBUs, uh, Russian Imperial Oatmeal Stout, aged for a full year, 
uh, in a blend of bourbon barrels from uh, Elijah Craig, Four Roses, Pathy Van Winkle, Woodward, Res Woodward Reserve, and Buffalo Trace. All excellent bourbon makers. Uh, the next one here is Firestone Walker's uh, 20th Anniversary Ale, 2016 uh, edition here, uh, American Strong Ale. Uh, he says Beer Advocate has it listed at 13.8%, while Right Beer and Untapped has it at 13 So evidently it's not marked on it anywhere. Uh, blend of five barrel aged beers spanning over 250 oak and bourbon barrels. Parabola, Sticky Monkey, Velvet Merlin, Bravo, and El Dorado. And the next one here, this is Marshall Zukov. And guys, I'm a big fan of that. I do have a bottle or two stuffed away in the closet back here. This is the 2016 edition of their uh, Imperial Stout, 11.5% ABV. And beside of it, the very hard to get, highly sought after, stand in line for hours, got to have a ticket to get beer from Cigar City. This is their Hunapoos. It's an Imperial Stout. I've never had this beer, never even seen it before. I just know that. It is almost impossible to get unless you live close to the brewery and you're willing to stand in line and buy tickets and all that kind of crazy stuff, guys. So he has got his hands on one and, and uh, brought it to me. Uh, this is the 2015. It says uh, bottled on 12 28 15, but released on March 12th of 2016, which is Hunapu Day down there. And basically, they're Marshall Zukov, aged on cocoa nibs, ancho and pastilla, chilies, cinnamon, Madagascar, vanilla, 11.5% in ADIBUs. So they've taken the Marshall and did that to it to create this beer. And from Springhouse, this is their Kerplunk Imperial Chocolate Stout, 8.1%, and canned on 1031.16. Breweries out of Conestoga, Pennsylvania. And also another one from Springhouse. This is their Martians Kidnapped Santa. It's an eggnog stout. 8.3% American stout. And it says it was canned on 11-22-16. So we're just a little bit past Christmas in Santa and eggnog style drinks. So uh, you may want to go ahead and get this... Uh, reviewed uh, it's an 8.3 percent so i don't know not having an eggnog style beer before if anything is going to fade on so we might go ahead and get this one uh, done just in case something will fade over time and from trogues this is their nugget nectar uh it's a 7.3 percent 93 ish ibus uh this is listed as an amber while right beer has beer advocate has an amber while right beer has an IPA. Picture, features nugget, warrior, tomahawk, Simco, and palisade hops. And it says freshest by 5317. Canned on 123016. And uh, based on that info, it looks like they're giving it a four month shelf life, which is just a tad long to me. And from Carton, I've done this one. This is their regular coffee. Uh, I may re re review it. We'll look and see how long ago this has been. If it's not been at least a year, I probably will not re, re review it. <coughs> also from Carton, uh, he brought me a boat. I have reviewed this one. Like I said, I don't think it's been quite a year yet. Uh, so I may not re review the boat beer either. So. Uh, and from Knee Deep, this is their Lupulin River. I have reviewed this, and I don't remember how long ago it's been, guys. If it's been over a year, we'll re-review it. And if it hasn't, we probably will not. Uh, also, from uh, uh, Cane's Brewing, this is their Silent Night. Uh, this is a growler. And he has brought this. It's a 12% Imperial Style. Filled back in June 2015 at the beer store. So this one's been in this container for quite a while. I usually don't try to keep growler fields that long. But he has brought this to me. And we're going to see what happens with this one. Since it's uh, been been filled at the brewery. And uh, it's been soured. So we'll see if it's still got some carbonation. Or if it's gone flat. Or if it's still very tasty. Uh, it's an imperial stout. So that style of beer is going to keep. But we just don't know if uh, the carbonation is held up in this package 
And all right, from Free Wheel, this is their Rapius, bottled on 11916, vintage on the label, and it is a 15.1%. That's what he's telling me. Uh, let's take a quicker look at it. Yep, 15.1% is what it's got on the bottle here. Imperial Stout aged in bourbon barrels. And uh, says he picked it up at Pizza Boy Brewery. And the next one here is Allagash Hoppy Table Beer. Bottled on 12, 14, 16. Uh, he actually picked this up yesterday uh, and gave it to me uh, at the barrel chest uh, when me and him went out there. So uh, it is a uh, uh, Belgian Pale Ale Hop with Chinook, Cascade, Comet, Azica Hops. Then dry hop with more common and azica hops. So, and here uh, he did stop at Pizza Boy uh, and picked up uh, two uh, crawlers, which are the big cans that are filled at the uh, uh, at the restaurant there where they brew it and a little brew tub. That's a pizza beer kind of place, and uh, I think they're in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And the first one here is the. Uh, Marin River and it is an American IPA and these are great big cans too guys he says it is a 7.4 percent and the next one here this is their uh, front side lip lip tide lip I think that's what it is lip or tide or something like that we'll take a closer look at it and see if I can because it's all handwritten on here Sometimes it's hard to read that. And like I said, he just had it filled the other day on his way down. 10% uh, Imperial IPA with 100 IBUs. So, a great big several boxes of beer. And especially with all the glassware that he did. So, man, I apologize that I've got all this. I was trying to get it all on the table. But the glassware is there in the back. Huge selection. I do consider Rico my brother. Uh, I do. Like I said, he showed up. Uh, he come down and told me he was coming. And uh, he's spent Friday, Saturday, and today is Sunday. Uh, and I think he's going back in the morning. i got to go back to work. And uh, we're, we're going to probably uh, have a few beers this afternoon. We had a few yesterday evening and had a few Friday evening when he got here. So I want to thank my brother, Rico, for all the wonderful beers he does send me now with all the wonderful glass bar that he's brought down to me. I don't have any of these glasses, guys. Awesome guy. Awesome friend. Thank you, Rico. I do appreciate it, sir, my brother. Uh, well, we're going to get these things labeled. They're all not going to fit into the fridge. Some of these heavier beers will go into the closet. And some of the IPAs and the lighter beers will go ahead and get into the fridge so we can re review them. Speaking of the fridge, let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. There's a bunch of stuff in that fridge. Yeah.